thank you so much, Timothy Haskins. Yes, thank you very much. You're so, a very generous man. Yeah, you are. He says, what are your current favourite WWE wrestlers? Um, it could. It, it's quite a, it's a... Would it be nepotism? A nepotistic answer? Is nepotistic even a word? Um, what's his name? Drake Maverick and um, Sid Scala, just because they're very nice gentlemen who I've had a lot of great exchanges with in real life. So, um, well done, boys. <laughs> is nepotism as rife of in gaming as it is in every major entertainment field? Well, what do you bloody think? There are many people out there who advocate the Atari Jaguar as being one of the most interesting and cutting edge systems for its time. And amongst these people is a gentleman known as Kieran, who runs a little YouTube channel known as Laird's Lair. Amongst Kieran's accolades are regularly writing for Retro Gamer Magazine, writing scripts for some of Guru Larry's videos, and even writing Slope's Game Room's in-depth, controversial, epic, movie-long-length video on the Sinclair Vega Plus scandal. All in all, making him an undersung hero amongst the retro gaming community. Undersung hero amongst the retro gaming community. Undersung hero. Undersung hero. 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 Amongst the retro gaming community. This man is basically the go to source when it comes to looking for leads on anything to do with Atari. So, as a result, the two of us had a chat about the duo and Atari's history in general prior to the release of this video, which helped point me in the right directions. So, if you want to learn even more about Atari and this man's love for the Jaguar, then I suggest you all check out and subscribe to Laird's Lair for even more Atari content. Anyway, but before I move on, if you want to learn even more about the Turbo Graphics, which was made for Europe, I suggest you watch Kieran's video on the Laird's Lair YouTube channel because he gives an in-depth 10 minute piece all about the history of the Turbo Graphics in Europe. Today though, we're moving on to the PC Engine in Europe. 